Hey everyone, my name is Brandon. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find profitable products to sell on Amazon. This is going to be the very first episode of a continuing series where we're going to be talking about many different ways to find profitable products and then the entire steps, all the steps within the process of getting your product selected and then getting your product all the way to Amazon and then selling products on Amazon's website as an Amazon FBA seller. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell because we're gonna be covering this series in order. The very next video will be step number two. So also, we're doing a competition. Best comment down below right now. Best comment is going to receive anywhere from 20 to 50 to $100 per week. So each week I'm gonna select one winner of the best con comment of the week and I'm gonna PayPal you anywhere from 20 to $100 uh, for free just by commenting on these videos. So any kind of comment will do. So comment down below for a chance to win. So number one, we're gonna be doing a product research technique. This is one of multiple ones that I've been st showing my students and that I've found profitable products with. So we're gonna go through this. It's called Merchant Words. Now, Merchant Words is a keyword research tool. It's You have to pay for it and it's, uh, it's it, now usually it's like 30 bucks a month. Um, I teamed up with them that anybody who's on a YouTube subscriber, they, you guys get $9, and I'm paying it as well, $9.99 per month um, as a discount if you want to sign up for this program. I don't make any money for recommending this program to you. So this is just, I'm only going to recommend programs to you guys that I actually provide, find value in, and I think is going to help you guys out with your Amazon business. So I'm not going to ever recommend anything that I don't use or that I don't think that would be helpful. So. Um, merchant words, there'll be a link in the description. You can search different keywords, okay? So today we're gonna do an example keyword and it's gonna be leg brace. So say we're interested in selling leg braces. Now, as, as you may know or you may not know, Amazon FBA, what we're doing is we're finding products that have a lot of demand that we can sell. We wanna make this product better than the competition. We wanna make it cheaper than competition maybe. Maybe we wanna bundle it with something else that the competition doesn't already have so that our product is special and are unique and we get sales over our competition. And we wanna have really good photos, we wanna have good keywords, we wanna have a lot, uh, get a cheap, as cheaply created product as possible, inexpensive as possible. We don't want cheap, we want good quality products. But you know, as inexpensively created as possible, so that when we sell it on Amazon, we're making as much profit as possible because that profit gets direct deposited into your account and that can you know, potentially change your life if you make enough. So what we're gonna do today is kind of show you one way to determine product categories you, you can go into. This is gonna be for somebody who's trying to start their first product. So say we type in leg brace. Now leg brace, what this, what this program does here is it shows you um, different you know, places in the, United, in the world, which we're gonna be doing United States Marketplace, and it shows you the estimated search volume for various keywords related to leg brace. So, and this is on Amazon. So, leg brace, Amazon search, leg brace. It says estimated monthly search volume, 47,500 search results. So, every month, 47,000 people um, search for leg braces on Amazon. So. And that's, you know, that's a lot of people. So um, straight leg brace, that's the second, they add the word straight in there at the front, 29,000 people. Leg brace for women, 20,900. Leg brace for men, 16,200. Long leg brace, 14,800. Leg brace for kids, leg knee brace, leg support brace, uh, leg braces for men, um, dog leg brace, chair leg brace, uh, pink leg brace. So there's multiple different categories that we could kind of go into if you were trying to sell leg braces. So for fun, let's go into two different categories and see what we would want to maybe sell. So all I'm gonna do is go to Amazon's website and we're gonna type in these, these search terms. So we let's do dog leg brace and chair leg brace. So let's just, for instance, let's go check out chair leg brace. You wanna do all right here and you wanna click uh, chair leg brace. Now it's gonna have these different uh, things and we can kind of see what they look like. What we're looking for is we're looking for products that we can sell and make a lot of profit on. And it's gonna depend on how much profit that you wanna make. But number one is um, most, the easiest, best products for beginner Amazon sellers. Best chance of success, best cheapest price, so you can start with as cheap as, the least amount of money as possible, is going to be um, products that are anywhere from $12.99, so maybe $13 really about 15, but you, sometimes if you can get, for instance, if you can get this thing super, super cheap, then you could sell for $12 and make profit. 
So, so usually the sweet spot though is somewhere in between like 13 and 15 bucks. And you don't want to go any lower than that because unless you get the product practically free because Amazon's going to eat you live with fees and you're not going to make any money. So that's what you want to kind of keep in mind. High end, 50 bucks is pretty good. When you start getting a little bit more advanced and you're trying to get into less competitive categories in general, you may go out and more expensive products than $50. It's just when you're starting to get into those kinds of products, it's a little more complicated. It's not easy to buy. The, the person trying to buy it may have to think about that decision a little bit more. It's probably going to be a lot more expensive to create. It's probably a little more complicated. It's probably electronic. It's probably something that's a little bit more uh, could mess up and so it's a little bit more a little bit more work and a little more complicated for a beginner And so the best sweet spot is usually about 12.99 13 bucks to 50 in that range um, And so and there's I have successful students that are starting products as low as 12.99 as high as about 55 50 54 bucks, so um, it, It's gonna depend on like that's a good range to search in so for instance. This is too cheap $5. It's not, not gonna work. Five seventy-five, eight ninety-nine, thirty-two ninety-nine, eight dollars. You know what you're gonna need to do if you're trying to do like a ch like a chair hardware like this, chair corner braces, is you would want to bundle this together with a bunch of them. And this is a four pack for five dollars. So you know if you did an eight pack for ten dollars. Do people really need an eight pack? You know, no, you only have four legs on a chair. You're probably, well, you might need eight maybe. But you see what I'm saying? So we're, we're, why would someone buy this in the first place? They're trying to solve a problem. So more than likely they're trying to fix a chair that's messed up or maybe the chair didn't come with the pieces and you're trying to buy the pieces. So you gotta kinda think of that. You would wanna try to bundle this with something else to make it more expensive and it's just not a good, a good category to get into. So let's just go back. The next thing would be leg brace for dogs. So we've we've I've looked this up on this channel before, and I like this uh, for training purposes because this is a really good uh, example category. Look at these dog leg braces. Okay, we have dog leg braces that are, are kind of similar in, in in concept. Look at the way this is set up. Seventeen bucks. It's in our sweet spot of price, right? And look at the way these things are. They're all kind of similar. There's a little subtle differences between them. They're different sizes, different amount of straps. They all probably have all have their own logos and stuff on them, but it's it, overall it's kind of interesting the way they, they these were set up. This is a product that you could add your logo to it because what we're doing is we want to we don't want to sell a product on Amazon and everybody just jumps on it and everybody's jumping on your listing saying that they're selling the same thing as you because then what happens is they just lower the price and then you have to fight them and lower the price down 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 to where you make no money. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to private label a product, which means you put your own logo on the product. And it's not anything fancy. You can get a fancy logo, but you could also get just like your name or a name in general, like whatever, West Enterprises or something. You could put that on, you know, the logo on the product, and then now it's a private label product. So if you show, and you don't have to have any other changes. Now you show Amazon, look, this person's trying to sell the same thing as me, it ain't the same. Mine has my logo, theirs is not. Different. Now ideally, you could do that and improve the product. So you can go to these sellers and look at the reviews. So you're looking at the reviews here, you're looking at the reviews here, and the reviews, you know, maybe the reviews are saying it's cheaply made, the Velcro doesn't stick. You know, a lot of different reviews that you may come across. And those reviews could be data for you and I to make a decision on, hey, when we talk to our manufacturer, which is gonna be in tomorrow's video, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see tomorrow's video. When we're talking to our supplier, we can say, hey, supplier, we wanna put our logo on it, but we wanna we want also see if you can make that Velcro better. You have better options for Velcro, boom. Now we have a product that's probably gonna be better than our competitors because we're using their reviews to determine their negative reviews on how to make our product better. Okay, so long story short, that's essentially how we do it. Now this tool is very, very powerful because you can do this for all different categories. You can go back to this tool, you go to baby, baby, we got all kinds of baby stuff. And so, in, in you know, uh, you can kind of scroll through here and look and see what you'd wanna do. Look at the search volume though for baby. This is a very, very, well searched product, babe, people searching for baby stuff. So you look, you got like a lot of search results, a million for baby toys, 1.5 million. So you can scroll down. What I like to do is kind of scroll a little bit down and then just start plugging in. What you do is you just copy and paste this name and you type it and you search it into, into Amazon to decide if the product is gonna be something that is gonna be successful for you. You wanna look at the reviews to find out, okay, is there a way we can improve this, improve this product to make it better? We wanna look and see, okay, there's this pro, a software called Jungle Scout Chrome Extension. You just need the cheapest one, it's like $99. There'll be a link in the description below for that. 
Jungle Scout will run the numbers. So what, what happens is we're searching leg, uh, leg brace for dogs. So it's gonna run all of our leg brace for dogs. It's gonna show us our average price, which is $19.29. It's gonna show us how many sales that they're all making. It's gonna show us the revenue, which it isn't really, it's irrelevant. Uh, reviews, it's gonna show us the reviews of our competitors. It's gonna show us how, what their rating is, which could potentially affect this. Um, how much do these products weigh? What are their Amazon fees? A lot of their fees, you know, five, six bucks. So, as you can see, this software will, will compile all the data from, from well, well, the keywords that we searched on, um, on Merchant Words, and it's gonna pull it all up on one spot. So now we can kind of analyze this stuff and see, okay, look, number one, we wanna go and hover over it and see if it's the same product. So, the same, pretty much the same, pretty much the same, same, well, that, that one's a little different. So we could even, if it, I'd probably keep it in there, but if say it was the really, really different, you can X it off because we wanna make sure this data is accurate. We're not looking for just, this isn't on autopilot. We actually have to kind of critique these things. And so say for instance, uh, let's see if there's any, anything that's actually bad on here. Sometimes something that's not a dog leg brace will sneak into the results and it could be priced super, super cheap or super, super high and it might affect your, your average price. And you wanna make sure we're only looking at legitimate comparable products that we're trying to sell. Um, so that's another thing. Another thing I like that's positive is to see a bunch of different brands. So there's all kinds of different brands in here selling. There's not just one major brand that's dominating. You'll see Labra, Labra, Labra. There's like three of them, Argon, three of them, MyPro, Juno Pets, Juno Pets. Scroll, we could probably scroll down and see if there's anything else. Oh, we can't scroll down. So there is a little bit of, uh, of depth. There are different, of, different brands that are selling. This is one way of searching for this keyword. You wanna search for multiple ways. So like this is say, say see how it says leg brace? See how it says leg brace for dogs right here? Um, we would wanna put dog leg brace and then search it and run the numbers as well. And then that can help us find you know, uh, a, a profitable product. So uh, make sure in the link below, there'll be a, uh, a link so you can download my ebook. Uh, on the ebook, it's gonna show you some basic criteria to use as a beginner Amazon seller to find profitable products. If you haven't already gotten that, make sure you download that. It's completely free. You just put your email in there and I email it to you. So pretty simple. Um, other than that, that is it. Make sure you subscribe uh, for the more the video tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be actually selecting a product like this and we're gonna talk to the manufacturer. We're gonna figure out, okay, how much does it cost to get created? What do you need? Do you need barcodes? Do you need UPC codes? What do you need? Like, do you need to get, how do I get a label created? How do I get the pro, the manufacturer to put my label, logo and label on it? So we're gonna be talking about that. We're also gonna be talking about a lot more other great stuff coming up here soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up the video. Make sure you comment down below to win potentially some money uh, this week. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.